I was just like, I'm going to implode if I don't write about what's going on in my life right now. What do you say to those women out there who might be going through something similar that do connect with this new EP? I would say listen to it top to bottom because it's like a healing journey. It's been a whirlwind year for country star Kelsey Ballerini. From the lows of a very public divorce to the highs of a raw, heartfelt album that went viral. Kelsey Ballerini said, I kissed someone new last night. When were one of you gonna tell me I was fast asleep on Kelsey Ballerini because this song? Her star still on the rise, even after a decade in the music industry, known for hits like Love Me Like You Mean It. And collaborations with the chain smokers. But what is the Nashville native like on and off the stage? We're behind the scenes as she gets ready to perform in her hometown. Welcome to my bus. This is like Thank start you. of CMA Fest. Congrats, hey, Shania. Door. Of course, the hometown the door show. You. Mom's but here, friends are here, everyone's here. Uh, it's chaotic. She'll be taking the stage just before another legend, Shania Twain. She invited me to sing with her at Stagecoach a couple years ago. We became friends and I've gotten to just like know her as a woman. Also happens to be my hero. So that's pretty cool. We catch up with her just moments before she runs out on stage. Did you take any tequila shots before then? I did. Yeah. Can you tell? Uh, no. Good. No, you look good. Good, great. So what was your pre-show prep? What did you do? One, two, three, a queen, I lead. It's not much. I like have a little honey, sometimes tequila, okay. hang out with the band. Yeah, let's go have fun. Yes. Yes. Right? Yes. It's not that exciting. Okay. It's not like rock star at okay. all. <laughs> Ballerini says she's not a rock star. But fans would say otherwise. She's the best. She is the New generation's queen of country music. Is anyone ready to put a hole in the bottle with us tonight, Nashville? I've wanted to sing this song in Nashville since I wrote it. it's about a place right down the road that I feel really happily far away from now. If you're going through a season in your life that is big change, whether it's heartbreak or a breakup or a divorce or any kind of life change, you're gonna be okay. I kissed someone new last night and now I don't For Ballerini, it all began when she started writing music at just 12 years old. That's the age where, you know, like, I got tall, boys got cute, everything's changing hormonally, and then my parents were getting divorced, and I'm an only child, and it was just chaos, you know? And uh, I, the, I couldn't really find anything to grab onto, but I just started writing songs, and it became, like, the branch in the water that I was like, oh, I'm safe now, I got it, you know? And... Um, and it's been that ever since. But it wasn't until 15 that she convinced her mom to move from Knoxville to Nashville. And for the next few years, she performed at bars and reached out to labels. Then in 2013, at 19 years old, her big break, a record deal. I was like, I gotta do it. I can't, I can't half-ass it, I gotta do it. I just wrote full time for a year. Like I knew that songwriting was my superpower and is, it's like the thing that I value the most. A decade later, she used that superpower to get through one of the toughest moments of her life, splitting from her husband, Morgan Evans, after nearly five years of marriage. Do you think you got married too young? Well, I think to each their own. I mean, I know people that got married younger than I did and are very happy. So I don't think there is a too young. Um, I think I don't regret anything. And I think that's important to, to say. I let go if you wanted me to. 
Her ex detailed his version of the divorce in a single titled Over For You, released in late 2022. How long has it been over for you? Ballerini responded to that question directly with six songs, including Mountain With A View. I think that this is when it's over for me. And Penthouse. When you're playing home in a penthouse, baby. I'm putting out a record. I'm actively going through a very public divorce. I don't get to hide. I'm on tour. I have to write about this or I'm going to push it down and I'm going to explode one day. There's a lot of narratives, especially in country music, where it's like, screw you, I'm going to like key your car <laughs> and it's all your fault, you know? And I get down with those songs. I love them. But that wasn't my story. That wasn't what was happening. Fans have hung on every lyric, including the ones Ballerini has changed to reflect her healing and her new relationship with actor Chase Stokes who plays John B. on the Netflix series Outer Banks. We did notice last night you changed a few lyrics. <laughs> <laughs> just having in a little, penthouse. Just a little cheeky. <laughs> yes. And you mentioned in one of your songs, John B. I did. We got to talk about you're in a new relationship. You say you're happy. I am. I'm really happy. Yeah. I'm really trying to be in the moment and in the present. And again, just like taking inventory of, am I being the most authentic and honest I've ever been in my life with everyone? My artistry, my friends, my partner. Yeah. And that feels really good. Stokes gushing about her to Entertainment Tonight just last month. She seriously is the best human being on planet Earth, and she's so damn talented. Just to see her music and her kind of shine in the ways that she's getting in recent time, it's been beautiful. Is there anything about yourself that surprised you recently? If you asked any of the people closest to me, if you said, what's Kelsey's biggest downfall? They would say she is a chronic people pleaser. And I have made choices. I have made public statements that go against making peace with people. And I never thought I would be able to do that out of fear of ruffling feathers or out of fear of people not liking me or whatever it may be. And I'm getting better at it now. One of those moments came in April when Ballerini brought out drag queens during her performance at the CMT Awards after Tennessee introduced legislation restricting drag performers. You go down, I'm going down too. That's right. What made you decide to do that? I think that there is so much hate and legislation and um, so much push against the LGBTQ plus community. And especially in the genre I'm in, um, I just don't stand for it and want to be an ally, but I've always done it more quietly. And I just realized that sometimes in a climate like we're in, Sometimes you gotta get a little louder. Ballerini plans to keep making noise and music on stages across the country. We're backstage at the yes, Grand Ole Opry. we are. Including this very special one. She's the youngest female artist to ever be inducted into the Grand Ole Opry. How does that feel? Whatever, <laughs> I mean, in over a hundred years, that's remarkable. I was like, I don't believe in an I made it moment because I feel like that's kind of when you get lazy and comfortable. So I don't believe in that. So you still don't believe you've made it? No, no, no. Really? No, 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 no. But I do believe in moments that make you look up and go, I think I'm doing something right. Do you know that you're shaping the genre now too? I think for a long time, I still walked in like I was new here. And I think I'm finally starting to be like, oh no, I've been here for a decade. Like I, I want to dig my heels in. I want to matter. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.